Right over the bed, over the bed. Nigga, I gotta be safe. Look, it's a sports talk. Charles Woodson to Urban Meyer here with you. Coach, let's start with you. Where did the Buckeyes win it today? I think the halftime adjustments by the Ohio State defense coaches and their players, they, uh, they threw for 250. Shea Patterson was on fire. Second half negated. I think it was a combination of coverages, but the, they put pressure on Shea Patterson, and the game was over. My takeaway, man, is first of all, congratulations to Urban Meyer and the Buckeyes for going out there and taking care of business. But I want to give Justin Fields some love. A lot of talk about him not being able to play in the cold weather. This being his first Ohio State Michigan game, all he did was 14 for 25, 302 yards. A lot of talk about Chase Young being the Heisman front runner. Well, put Justin, name, Justin Fields' name up there with it, too. I was going to say 37 passing touchdowns, one interception. Yeah, Justin Fields need to be in the Heisman talk. He only, he only threw one interception. 34 touchdowns. He should be in the talks of a Heisman with Chase Young. The media already said he need to prove himself. I want to see how he'll do with Ohio State. He's showing you why he was a top recruit coming out of high school. He just went to Georgia when Georgia already had their quarterback situation established with Jake Farm. And he had to get off under there and had to go showcase what he could do for a program, and he, look what he's doing at Ohio State, throwing 34 touchdowns in one pick. Like, he need to be talked about being in the Heisman race as well. The front runner for it, too. He could possibly win the Heisman this year. He possibly could win it over Chase Young, probably. Like, everyone just said he had to prove himself. He proved it. Like, you, you, could, see, you could see the the promise when he first got, got a chance to play at Georgia, but then they went back to Jake Froome because – that's his, that was Jake Prom team. That wasn't his team. Like he, he know going to Georgia, it wasn't no compete, really. And they already had their quarterback, so he had to go somewhere to make a statement for himself. And he made a statement this year for Ohio State. The season, guys, he's been phenomenal, and he continues to answer the call in the toughest matchups. Last week against Penn State, and this week on the road in the hostile bar. He was special as well. Yeah, the game was won up front for Ohio State. They controlled the line of scrimmage. J.K. Dobbins went off for 211 yards and four touchdowns. That's a solid run day. And they won the physical battle that I talked about in the pregame show. This is the best TV college football bottom line. We saw them. We thought they might, they might get tested last week versus Penn State. This was in the next test. On the road, a good opponent. They absolutely dominated. And that, that run game helped him out especially. Because Michigan had to bring A in the box to stop the run. Even though they couldn't stop the run, but the run game helped the quarterback a lot more. That's the way he don't have to do everything and take it low off his shoulders. So he don't have to do as much. That's the way he could just ease into his throws, his progression, because he don't have to worry about everything had to be on him. It ain't... It ain't they had to throw all the time. Sometimes they will do that. Sometimes they won't. When you got a good running back and Dobbs, you ain't got to worry about so much being on his shoulders. He can take the load off of him. Capitalized on their mistakes. Yeah. And it's important to remember, to be that number one spot, you don't have to play Clemson, you get the pick. It is the best ever point differential for Ohio State through 12 games. Coach, they are plus 400. And 57 plus 457. Sunday on Fox. MVP candidate Lamar Jackson leads the Ravens. Are you kidding me? Into a showdown against Jimmy G and the 49ers. It 